Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and today I wanted to do a quick recap on the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. We're a little past halfway through the month and thought it was a good time to kind of review things. However, we are first going to open the stitch marker of the day from Ellie Leva. This is part of the summer kit. So we're going to open it. So I went looking through, I think we're on day six, but I found no unnumbered one and I couldn't find a six. So we're going to go with this one. Yeah, let's see what the mystery is. Extra mystery. Super mystery. I love the paper she used. I think this is genius, Ellie, if this is true. But I think she might have gotten some fun summer napkins, which is a great idea because I have so many different patterns. <gasps> this is a adorable oh my goodness this is a flip-flop stitch marker look at that look at how cute that is that's adorable I love it it feels like maybe it's polymer clay maybe it's a little it's a little pliable I'll say a little bit bendy but not super oh I've got <laughs> Ugh, we've been deep cleaning the upstairs today, so I'm taking a little break from cleaning. And apparently I had some glitter stuck between my fingers. There's glitter everywhere in the house. Let's add it to the stitch marker collection. And hooray! The summer set! Thank you! Again, be sure to check out Miss Ellie at Ellie Leva's Crafts and more for all of her wonderful creations. <laughs> I know she's working on a lot of sets to come out soon, if not out already. Highly recommend. So, the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. What is it other than a mouthful? Well, it is. Um, Brian warned me. I forged ahead and now we, we cannot change it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight is an event where each month we pick a different creator here on YouTube primarily and we celebrate them. We shine the spotlight on them and we make things following their patterns and or tutorials. Um, sometimes they have, they just have a YouTube channel and they have tutorials here. Sometimes they offer written patterns through Ravelry or their own blog or website or Etsy or wherever. Anything that they create is fair game. This month, our creator is Siren's Crochet. And you can share anything you've made in the past or anything you're currently making. Um, it's just fun. It's just a way to celebrate and share and discover different creators out there because there are so many awesome people among the crafty community. And it's nice to, to focus on a different one every month. <laughs> So there is a giveaway aspect to it that is open worldwide for your prohibited, of course. Um, if you want to know all the specifics of that, back on July 1st, I did a video and that has all that information there. Um, for the spotlight, I need you to send me pictures of your items. That's how I'm going to know you made them. So you can either use my Facebook group, there's a post there you can comment, or you can post to the wall. I'll find it. It's not a super busy group. Um, the second way you can use Instagram. We have a hashtag KKCS723. So that's what I'll search and that's how I'll find it and know that it's flagged for this month. Um, and then finally, if you don't use Facebook or Instagram, you can email me at craftingkitty at gmail.com. All of this will be listed down below in the description box. Um, no matter which way you send it to me, Please let me know what pattern or tutorial you followed. Um, that's really all I need to know. Um, if you could say like what hooks or knitting needles, whatever supplies you used, yarn, that would be awesome, but you don't have to. And yeah, any other little tidbits you want to share, greatly appreciated. Um, I do make a slideshow of the items at the end and then we can all see and celebrate and share everyone's creativity and it's really a highlight for me of the month but because of that i put names on the slideshows if the name you use to submit your items to me is different than what you would like to be referred to on as youtube so if you're using your email and that's your real name but you're crafting kitty on youtube 
please let me know what you need to be referred to on YouTube so I can properly label the slide. I'm not out here to invade anyone's privacy. Um, and then, what else do I need to say? Okay, uh, I already said you can make, have things from the past. Um, whips are allowed, uh, works in progress. The idea, there's no bright line test. No one's out there measuring degrees of completion, completeness, whatever. Just the idea is you're working on it. It's coming near the end of the month and you're like, I am not going to finish this. Send me a picture and, and give me all the info and you're good. The only, I have never turned anyone away. No one has ever tried this, but this is like the only hypothetical I can think of where I would say, no, I'm sorry, not this month. Is like, you, you have to show you've actually been working on something like a chain and saying it's going to be a sweater. Maybe not. Maybe it will, but eh, please. <laughs> and like I said, no one has ever tried anything like that, but that is like the only thing. And I feel silly even mentioning it, but you know, we got to spell out rules. So it's all fair. Um, so you can send me as many pictures, as many items as you want, but I limit you to three entries in the giveaway. So you can send me one and you'll get one entry, two and you'll get two, three and you'll get three, any more than that. And you'll get three. Um, I'll put your pictures in the slideshow and share them, but we're going to cap the entries at three. Um, we finally had a double winner and we decided that you can only win one prize from the spotlight drawing. So basically gives you three bites at the apple, a little, little better percentage of being a winner, but you know, you can only, only get one prize so we can spread the, the love between more people. The number of winners will be determined by the number of entries I receive. So I don't know that until the last day, really. Um, I, I say entries close at 5 PM, just say 5 PM central time in the U S to be safe. I generally draw later in the evening after the kids go to bed and I do check everything before I draw, but just to be safe, tr please try to be in by the seven, by the 17th. No, you have the entire month. Um, please be, try to be in by 5 PM on the 31st. There we go. Uh, what else do I need to say? I think that's the highlights. Like I said, there is another video from the beginning of the month that outlines all of this. And I actually had my paper in my hand so I could remember everything I was going to say. I thought I had my paper, but it was everything I typed up about the dino blanket event. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, this, I love this event. I love it. It's so much fun. Um, I did in the video on the first announce, <clears throat> sorry, I have a little dust in my throat from the cleaning. Um, <clears throat> I have, I announced who we're going to have for August. So if you're interested in hearing that, go watch to the end of that video. Um, I just do that again for project completion concerns. People may not have time in July, but might be able to work forward to something in August. That's totally cool. Um, I think I hit the highlights. I think so. Oh, uh, modifications. A lot of people have questions about modifications. Yes, I totally understand things have to get changed. Maybe you don't like the border on a blanket. Maybe you don't like the join on granny squares. Maybe the, it just doesn't fit and you have to change it. I get it. And that's totally allowed. Just point, just show me the pattern that got you started. We've also had a number of people who took crochet items and turned them to knit items or knit items and turn them to crochet. That's totally allowed. That is completely allowed. Just again, show me what started you off and go from there. Um, we had uh, Mel from Ophelia's Little Hook made cinnamon stitches, uh, strawberry bag in knit just based off of a rough description that Jennifer gave. And that is, that's totally, totally allowed, totally encouraged. This is all about the creativity. This is all about, you know, just building off of each other and building each other up. And that's all I want to do. Okay. So I will stop blabbering and talk to you later. Bye-bye. I'm so excited to see everything everyone makes. Bye-bye.